We're walking and our buddy Juan, secret game stash, calls Mort and is like, get over here now. We're like, what's going on? He's like, just get over here now. Juan said, hey, you guys gotta come to this booth. There are tons of vintage toys. We start running to wherever the heck Juan is. Luckily, he was on the same row, which was perfect. We run over to this giant booth with boxes everywhere, with people everywhere, with people just unloading boxes and boxes. There's a lot of, there's a lot of knickknacks here. Every box that came out of this truck was filled to the brim with just random assorted toys. Star Wars. Yes, I love that movie. Last, last action hero. Arnold Schwarzenegger right here. Yo, yo. Literally boxes just full of it. You walk to the middle, there's Star Wars stuff. You walk a little more, there's Transformer stuff. And it's a heaven. I mean a heaven filled with the coolest retro toys and knickknacks and collectibles and oddities and little treasures everywhere. This is this is like the most overwhelming one ever been this? in a place. There's I mean, look at, look at I mean, how did all this get in my hands? And dude, they have everything. Marvel, you name it, it's there. Dude, I need like a giant bag or something. I hear prices being thrown out like two dollars, three dollars, four dollars at the most. $10, and these are items that should easily be like 40, 50, 60, sometimes $100. I'm just happy about the Mario Kart, seriously, but there's, dude, there's so much stuff in here, it's insane. Come to find out that it's one of our buddy's friends. She has a toy store collectible, it's called Kelly's Toy Shop. Oh, no, so you know Kelly's Toy Shop, right? Yeah. yeah. So this is all her stuff that she had in the garage and the store, so she just tried to wipe it out. My goodness, it was it was literally just a dream come true of toys. They have everything. They even have Bucky O'Hare. You know how? I never run into Bucky O'Hare stuff. But this is one of those mornings you you hear about and you never believe. I'm a believer now. We're going nuts. Everybody's going nuts. I am just throwing things into my arms. Tons of Simpsons toys, different lunch boxes, different last action hero toys. I'm gonna I'm gonna dive back in there, but before I do, I got last action hero. Brad Goodman. Superintendent Chalmers, Edna Kerbapple, and Dolph. So I'm gonna dive back in all of it for $10. That's kind of a joke. It's kind of a joke for $10. Not and one of the things that really caught my eye was the Dick Tracy doll, a 10 inch doll, and also a Dick Tracy Steve the Tramp toy. Yeah, say. Tracy was an American comic strip that came out in 1931 and this really got popular in 1990 when the movie Dick Tracy came out starring Warren Beatty. Dick Tracy stuff, this is, this is madness. This is absolute, an absolute gold mine. Now I love this 10 inch doll that I found of Dick Tracy because it's in mint condition. All the tags are still there. The company that made it is applause. That tag was on there and looking clean. Also, this Steve the Tramp toy was looking perfect and minty. The cardboard was clean. And I love this figure because there's so much detail in the figure and it was made by Playmates. Big Boys Gang is finished for now, but can Tracy keep him behind bars? Find out next time. Dick Tracy! From Playmates. And if you know Playmates, sometimes they do cool things with the box or on the back of the box. And I love on the back of this box, they show a ton of information about Steve the Tramp, where he came from, what kind of weapons he uses. So I love it, and I'm picking this stuff up for insanely cheap. That's the way to play it. Okay. This is just a box that I found of stuff I might buy, might not. Sealed mine. I literally run around and grab First thing I see is a couple Marvel toys. Grab them, throw them in. Original Wolverine, like a Bendem one from 1983. This thing's older than I am. Next thing I see, Capcom toys. Grab them, throw them in. I think I used to have this as a kid. That's when I saw it, I was like, dude, this is pretty sick. Ghostbusters claw. The next thing I see, though, is pretty epic. I've never seen this, and you know what? I love the chipmunks. The chipmunks were a lot of our childhood, but especially mine. I, I love the chipmunks. I have to pick this up. How many chipmunks? Well, I guess the animated series was a lot of my childhood. And this will just complete it. It was a 1984 Curtain Call Theater. The Chipmunks Curtain Call Theater comes with lots of props and backdrops. Chipmunk figures sold separately, new from Ideal. This was made by Ideal CBS Toys in 1984. This thing is sick. 
it's as old as I am and truth be told the reason I oh I wanted it so bad is I open it up and the first thing I see is the chipmunk car I'm like I'm getting it ah! Another thing that caught my eye, and I know this thing is kind of pricey, was this boxed Pee Wee's Child costume. This was made in 1987, and it was distributed by J. C. Penny Pee Wee Child costume. And these are these are expensive. These are expensive. You do not see these things lying around. There's some adult costumes floating around online for some pretty hefty prices, but it's really hard to find a child one complete. So when I saw that, so I'm hoping I can get it just for a few bucks. It's beat up as all heck, but it's it's in there. The the costumes in there and the Pee-wee mask. I picked it up because I love Pee-wee Herman, and it was for sale. Francis, some toys. <laughs> I picked up everything, tons of stuff, for $35. Oh my gosh. Next thing I know, Riff comes over and runs, dude, I got everything so cheap. I could be done right now and I'd be happy. Seriously. So next thing I know, there was chaos everywhere. I'm like, dude, you know what? I'm just gonna pay. Riff's like, dude, we, we gotta go. We gotta go get at least something else. You see him walking around with this box like this, drop it in front of the lady. I start pulling this stuff out and she's like, no worries. Um, 40 for everything? Yeah. How's that? That's fine with me. The box and everything? 40 bucks. I was like, seriously? <laughs> okay. Riff, you got 20 bucks? I had to borrow 20 from Riff, though. 